It's Wednesday morning, hump day. So good morning. It is uh, 44 degrees here in Capitan, New Mexico this morning. Good sleeping weather. It is 57 inside the RV here, the motorhome. Feels pretty good too, I have to tell you. Yep, this is really nice. But anyway, what else do I got to tell you? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. It is right now, and right now just went right on by. So, if there's anything you want to do, better be doing it. Never worry about what you cannot change. And when all else fails, go kiss a one-eared stinking goat. If that doesn't help you, nothing will. But anyway... <clears throat> Yeah, what else have I got going? Uh, well, I got another video today in the in the Fickle Man trilogy or four videos, whatever it is. But yeah, it's crazy, man. We live in an interesting world, believe me. It is to me, anyway. So what else have we got? Today is taco day for me. I'm going to make me some homemade tacos. I baked me a whole chicken yesterday in the Instant Pot and used some lemon pepper and stuff. And then today I'm going to make me some tacos with that chicken and have me some chicken tacos and yeah, not bad. And what else? Moving along, Rusty. Get these comments done, boy. This is on Fickle Man. <laughs> Fickle Man. What the hell is that? Anyway, Tony in Florida. Oh no, I can't believe Fickle Man has returned to Fickleville. Friggin' Matilda gonna get her belly full from this. This is exciting. Just don't forget, many of us want to ride along and are looking forward to the next chapter. Best luck finding what you want for your next home. Well, I'm working on it. I, you know, I've, I've got a chunk of coal right now, an idea. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to polish it, but uh, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. More to come. This is Magdastar. On Fickle. Will you do a tour of Roswell? Your drives are lovely. Thank you. No, I didn't do a tour of, of Roswell because I was on the outskirts where the car dealerships are. I just kind of went in and then out by an RV dealer. <clears throat> yeah. Didn't spend a whole lot of time. I was there a couple hours. And uh, yeah. Kenneth Kilpatrick. If you can find a newer trailer with Asdell walls and aluminum frame it'll outlast you cheap trailers with the fiberglass over luon siding tend to delaminate over time in intense sunlight looks like hell wood framing tends to rot if you got a leak if you can live without a slide out you may avoid issues with the slide out i've never had a slide out uh, at all and uh or have I? No, I've never had an RV with a slider, a slide out. <clears throat> as far as the Asdel, uh yeah, it, it depends. I think the ones that are cheap have that aluminum siding. But anyway, I, I'm still looking. And, you know, it, they got a lot of come-ons, you know, at, at car dealerships and RV dealerships. They have these, what they call price leaders, you know, where the ones that get you in the door and then the price goes up. I checked on a, actually there's a good, I think it's good, I don't know, I've never owned one, but it's a, it's called a Kia Nero Hybrid, and it gets about 53 miles to the gallon, gasoline, <clears throat> and they told me it was, or the MSRP is 29000 but they bump it up about 1500 to $2,000, and I'm not going to do that, you know, so we'll see, I'm working on some things, we'll see. Miss Majestic, I like that. They fattened them up, and the next thing they knew, they was barbecue, LOL. <laughs> yeah. Patrick Russell, Mr. Fickleman, Wheeler Dealer. Enjoy watching someone thinking out loud and not afraid to move forward in life. Well, or just make a change, you know. This is gobsmacked on the short video I did on mom, dad thing. Yeah, it's crazy. That was going to be a short video, but... I was eight seconds too long. <clears throat> Louis Paparella, no one on their deathbed ever said, I regret doing too much with my life. It's your life. Wear it out. No, I agree. You know, I don't remember. I, I don't 
remember what I don't remember what anybody said on their deathbed. Uh, I've never been around them. <clears throat> this is Arch Lenny. Fickle man is a dangerous hombre. I, I doubt that. Lewis Kittle, Little Kittle, rather, Little Kittle, 355. Is that an elephant in the sky? Back on the meds, Little Kittle. I didn't see an elephant in the sky. Oh, golly. It, yeah, I know. I may, you mean a cloud formation, I guess? Lewis Paparellas, dogs have owners, cats have staff. <clears throat> Probably true. Jose Flores. Good morning, Jose. I saw a sign while driving around that said, we buy RVs any condition. Yeah, and they don't pay you anything for them either. They, try, they want to steal them. Dunn on 7.30 says, asking less than them, how close is Cl Cloudcroft? <clears throat> From where I am right now in, in Capitan, about, I don't know, uh, 60, 70, 60 or 70 miles in that range. Done on, LOL, invest in gold, the email said. Rusty's response, screw this, headed to Roswell. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, you do you. Gabriel's holistic care, are you... Are you that you at 77 or above average rusty? The wisdom according to Fickle Man, you are rocking. Well, I, I'm just enjoying life the best I can, you know what I mean? The, the, the sand is going through the hourglass. <clears throat> this was on an old video, New Mexico gun laws. Wyoming, it's open carry. It's open carry here too in New Mexico, and Texas for that matter. Scotty Thompson, nice shirt, cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. Here's RV Living with the Geezer. Check his channel out on YouTube. Rusty, both Fort Davis and Marfa have EV charging stations. They That would be a perfect pit stop coming and going from Brackettville to Capitan. Good luck, buddy, on your plan. Yeah, that would be a nice place. Uh, yeah, uh, well, not Marfa, but Fort Davis would be all right. Uh, but I, I, it depends on what type of charging station they have. If they have a Type 2, you know, you can get, a, you know, because from Fort Davis to Brackettville is about 250 miles. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be cutting it close. This person's name is Geese. I'll just be over here waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay, thank you. He's even got a picture of a shoe. You did good, geez. Uh, Will Hunt, you want the cheapest RV trailer without a truck, and you have the best RV that is not broke. What happens if it ain't to it ain't if it ain't broke? Don't fix it. You know, thinking is not always the best thing. LOL. Well, you know, I uh, I I do change. You know, I mean, I, I I'm pretty flexible individual. I even call myself fickle man, but. No, I don't plan if I buy a, if I can find a travel trailer with, with a reasonable deal and park it under here, I don't plan on towing it. No, I just plan on parking it here year round. You can park an RV here year round. You just can't live in it year round. You know, uh, Sean Martin says, good plan, Rusty. Just Rusty doing Rusty. Thumbs up. No kidding. D. Anderson. Rusty should visit county courthouse and observe criminal court one day to see what kind of mischief goes on around Capitan, New Mexico. Uh, well, I guess I could do that for entertainment. Thank you. L.D. Husky. Damn, I love the way you think. <laughs> Back on the meds for you too, huh? Uh, the Dogman Chronicles, check his channel out on YouTube. Keeping life exciting, no problem with that. Thanks, Rusty. Well, yeah, that's the main reason I'm d looking into these things, is to just have something to do. You know, it gives me a, a, a project, you know, and I get to talk to people and bargain and stuff. You know, it's just, life is a game. Get out there and get on the field. Patrick London, I knew Rusty would come up with a major new plan soon just by looking at his track record. I can't wait for his reveal of the rest of the plan. Maybe he's going to dump the bolt 
and get another truck. No, I'm not getting a truck. That's totally out. <clears throat> Why? Well, because I don't need one, for one thing. And two, any kind of new truck is expensive. I mean, very expensive. Norman in San Diego, Rusty, your constant change keeps you young and always looking forward to something new. Well, I don't know. Well, it gives me something to look forward to. That That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Norman. Uh, Samuel Fink. <clears throat> Not that you give two shits what I think, but I admire how you live at your age. I'm 54 years old, widower, who still works in a chemical plant, 30 years. And other than work and gym, that's about all I do. I hope I live as much as you after retirement. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you do you. Curtis Stewart went to Porter's and got some popcorn. Well, way to go, Curtis. Everybody, Curtis went and got him some popcorn. <laughs> got butter ready to go, standing by for Fickle Man's next move. Maybe a game of Fickle Ball while waiting. Yeah, they don't have Fickle Ball. They do have Pickle Ball. Thank you, Curtis. Terry L., looking forward to this new chapter in your life. Thank you. Shelly Walker, are you sure that you want to sell the Classita? Didn't you just say in a recent video that this was your favorite RV thus far? Best wishes for happiness in whatever you decide. Yes, it is. Without a doubt, the best RV, quote, so far. You know, and uh, no doubt. And I, and I really, and, and you know, I haven't sold it yet. I haven't done anything. In fact, I mentioned that in the video that, you know, everything I'm talking about is, you know, is just tentative because I, I'm getting the numbers together and seeing what I can do. And uh, if they come together nicely, then we're, we'll, we'll make a move or change. If not, then, you know, hey, man, you're right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Shelly Walker, are you sure that you want to sell the... Oh, I already read that. <clears throat> Thank you, Shelly. Boondocking with Dennis. Check his channel out on YouTube. He left me some emojis. 4321 group. Rusty, it's your life and your money. Whatever you do, if you maintain the value of your investment, go for it. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'm, I just, well, the time is moving on here, guys. Kirby Wiseman, any special equipment, Rusty, cameras, mic, etc. You talking about for, for doing the videos? Oh, how much do I make on YouTube? I don't have any special equipment. I've got a uh, pick two Pixel 6 uh, smartphones that I use for the camera. That's all the equipment I have. I don't have an external mic, nothing else. I just have the phones, and that's it. And that's. I did try some external mics years ago, but uh, Google software on the when you're doing a video has a feature that eliminates uh, external noise and picks up voices. I don't know what they call it, voice enhancement, and it works very well. <clears throat> Richard Howe says, are you okay, Rusty? I think maybe you should go to the doctor and get a CBC, whatever the hell that is. We can never be too careful about our health. I wish the best for you and everybody, and I hope everybody is happy and healthy. Yeah, you know, I don't know what that is, but you know, I'm not worried about my health. I mean, I do, I mean I'm mean, i worried about my health. I want to feel good, obviously, but as far as you know, as uh, living a long time, I'm, that, that's okay if I'm healthy, you know. But, you know, uh, I'm not uh, paranoid about growing older, so to speak. Uh, Rick S., if you feel you, you're in a rut, you might want to try, you might want to try only fans. I don't know what that means. I understand that's where the real money is. You could do Beer 30. Oh, Rick, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, Rick. Yep. Sir Lurk a lot. Der Fickelmeister. <laughs> Fickelmeister. Yeah, thank you, Sir Lurk a lot. 4321 Group. Rusty, you need a nice new casita. Well, you know, a nice new casita now would cost thirty thousand dollars and uh uh, but I wouldn't want to just leave it parked here. <clears throat> no, we're, we'll work it out here, guys. I'm Again, we're just playing with life. 
as it comes. We'll do a few more here. This is Elaine Toole. My son-in-law parked his casita in my driveway for years. He had a hitch lock on it. You could also add wheel locks on all four tires. You're making a smart decision. Just get one that has lots of headroom. Yeah, true. Yeah, but I'm not planning on getting a casita, but thank you, Eileen. Yeah, most of the RVs now, the travel trailers, the interior height is six foot, six inches. The interior height of my Class C is seven feet. Uh, this is eight feet wide. The uh, class of uh, the uh, travel trailers are seven feet wide, so they're they're smaller. And also, if they have a slide out for the dining room, there's you know it slides out, and then there's this stuff above your head, and you have to be careful when you get out. You have to kind of lean to get out. <clears throat> no, they're crap. Peggy Lynn. I enjoy watching you go discover the rest of the U.S. Me too. <laughs> so do it. Yeah, well, I, you know, I've thought about taking trips, but, you know, uh, even a car trip. You know, I was going to go to Taos and stay in a motel. Well, hell, uh, you know, staying in a motel, a nice motel is in around Taos. Of course, it's a tourist trap area, and this is high season. It's about 200 bucks a night. Now, I ain't going to do that. Sheridan Gay, I can't wait for part two as the suspense is killing me. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it says we'll need to start paying a sub, sub fee. That's done on. No, I don't do the subscriber stuff and, you know, all that private stuff. No, I just do mine straight up. Uh, last one here is Deb. I like the Heartland North Trail 22 RBSS travel trailer. Well, I may check on that. Here's one here. Joe Frugal says, just looked at a 1998 Fleetwood Bounder, 35-foot, 12-foot slides, asking 8,000 8, in Mandeville, Louisiana. No, I don't think so. I, you know, I don't really, I'm not really excited about buying. <clears throat> I'm not really excited about buying used merchandise. Now we'll do the last one here. JM, that will be like your setup in Texas. That was a nice, quiet place and nice with the concrete pad they poured. Yes, it was. And uh, But I've got gravel here, which is fine. And in Texas at my uh, home base, it's concrete. And uh, so we're, we're okay with home bases. Uh, it's just a matter of, of uh, polishing the diamond. Okay? But anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link. Go to Amazon and buy whatever you want. Some of you have. Some of you are using the link, and I appreciate it. Pat, pat, pat. Thank you. <clears throat> And then what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. And uh, you won't want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off is eat less. You know, get a smaller plate. You know, why do I go over this routine every morning? It's more to reinforce it in my mind as much as it is to reinforce it in your mind. And then take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. Do it several times a day. You'll never regret it. And then stretch. Stretch your hands, your fingers. Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you've ever had. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one moment one day or one moment at a time. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until 
the next video. On and on we go, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Carry on. Bye-bye.